So what I have here today is uh, quite a surprise and something of a disappointment. Um, it's to do with the wires here that we have in our test leads as well as this um, speaker wire here. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to zero this meter out for us. And then we're going to take and So we're zero ohms right here. This is adjusted to zero ohms. Um, because the battery wears out, that sort of thing, uh, these style of meters. And make sure the connections are decent. And uh, get that set for zero. And we're going to take a look at these leads, these little clip leads. I use these quite a bit. Um, these guys here, I've replaced the tips on them, the ends, um, with uh, nice copper ones. And uh, anyways, I, I like I say, I use these a lot. And um, I was having some odd issues and and that sort of thing and you see when I hook them in series here the two of these guys they're just they're almost an ohm that that little bit of wire is almost one ohm and uh, if you're running say an amp through here that's going to be a whole volt almost well almost a volt of loss in just these little guys you're trying to power something up so when you're running at very low voltages say you're running at 3.3 .3 or a 5 volt system um, and you're, you're throwing an amp into something and you got it hooked up with these guys and you're wondering why it's not working quite right. Well, that just might be your answer right there. So I investigated further and lo and behold, these are magnetic. The wires are magnetic. Copper is not magnetic. These wires are magnetic. Therefore, these wires are copper coated steel. So there's the magnet, you can see that right there. Here's copper, here's a piece of, I think it's 14 gauge, and here's another piece of 14 gauge right here. No magnetism there. And then we've got this little jumper, or clip lead guy, and that one must be made of copper, because there's no sticking to it this time. And uh, yeah, kind of a disappointment. And then this, I went and bought some speaker wire, I was gonna, use it for obviously various things and lo and behold if it isn't magnetic I mean look at that that's terrible I mean I've, I've spent it was a deal it was from one of those dollar stores um, so it seemed like a deal at the time it was a fair price I'm gonna cut a few pieces off here and just show you this but uh, look at that uh, not impressed anyway um, another thing about this is that if you're using some little nippers like these style of guys, you've got some of these. These are made for cutting copper. If you're cutting some of this, or you're cutting some of these other leads here, you're cutting steel. You shouldn't probably be cutting steel with these, um, unless you've got some pretty fantastically good ones. So you might have a problem and, and you wonder why you got little notches inside of here or these aren't working so good after a while. It's because you've gone and cut some of this wire off here expecting that to be copper and it's not. I've um, got some of these, uh, everybody's probably seen these little guys, these little jumpers. These ones must be copper, but the tips, the tips are steel, which is not a surprise and not a big deal. That'll probably be tin coated or nickel plated or something like that. Another thing, uh, your resistors. These are typically steel in the wire that's in here and then it's tin plated. It's, it's often first plated with, um, uh, copper and then it's plated with steel so these ones actually these ones must be copper just or steel right in the end there but uh, this capacitor that steel wire copper coating and then tin over top of that which that's that's no big deal that's a, that's kind of expected if you had something like this and you were to bend it back and forth multiple times and it was made of copper it'd probably probably give you some sort of trouble wouldn't work very well after that so anyways that the, the short end of the story here is if you're starting to use these guys and you're wondering why your voltages aren't uh, quite where they should be and you're running a current a fair amount of current through something you know to get a couple of watts into something that's again only a three or 3.3 or 5 volt supply suspect these guys and one other thing i'd like to mention um, the wire inside of these this is a old um, printer cable you'll often find these in uh, bargain bins or something if you can if, if you get them anymore at all but they'll be dirt cheap or for free or if you know somebody or whatever um, they might probably give you some because these 
Centronics things aren't used like this anymore. And this is copper inside of here. And there's 25 wires in this. So if you want to make up some decent uh, jumper wires, or this, and you can make them any length you want, of course, you want to use these guys on the end. There's 25 wires in here that are very flexible and uh, very nice, you know, very nice wire inside of that thing. And again, you can make little, little jumpers, long jumpers, and solder them onto some of these guys and get the little boots over the end if you need them. And uh, they'll make excellent jumpers. So these pieces of junk here, these uh, basically steel wire, they're going to get taken apart. And I'm going to go find a bunch more of this and make a bunch of jumpers up.